Hey, what's up guys? Mike Patrick. In this video, I want to talk about loyalty, okay? I want to talk about loyalty and how it's relative, you know, in, in our lives at this particular point of time, okay? Now guys, um, as far as talking about loyalty, I want to talk about it from the aspect of feminine and masculine okay so the male and female relationship all right okay now there's loyalty on many different levels um brother as far as brotherhood and and just you know th there's loyalty on many different levels okay um but like i said i want to hone in right here on the loyalty that a man should have to her uh to his woman and the loyalty that a woman should have to her man, okay? As far as keeping a family strong, okay? Because it's not about the individual necessarily, okay? Not, I only want to say necessarily. That's uh, It's not about the individual. When you're talking on a level of, of um, from a, a nation standpoint, something bigger than your individual self, then it's not about, you know, it's not even a necessarily type of thing. It's definitely not about you, you know, per se, when you're when you're talking about something way bigger than yourself, okay? So, for example, that's like someone saying, and, we're, and what I'm going to get into to a certain degree is what I think a problem with a lot of us is, is this. We have this type of mentality, okay, whether we want to admit it or not. If the world was about to blow up, okay, it was a bomb that was going to blow up the whole world and we were standing right in front of it, okay, it's a lot of us who would not jump, let's say you could jump on that bomb and that bomb would only kill you, okay, but at least the rest of the world would remain and, uh, and, the, and the rest of humanity would remain. Unfortunately... I think there's, at this point, we're so selfish, guys, and unloyal and um, in, in, immoral to where most of us would not jump on that bomb to save the world. And it's, for, it's, it's, it's retarded, to be honest with you, because if you don't jump on that bomb, you're still going to die anyway. Because <laughs> you're in the world and it's going to blow up the whole world. Now, we, we, we know this is a, a analogy or a metaphor or whatnot. Um, but the thing is, like, you, you get my point. Like, you're going to die anyway because you didn't jump on the bomb. You know, but at least if you jumped on the bomb, yeah, you may have to sacrifice your life. But at least the world can continue to go on. The people that you love, you may have children, family members of all sorts, brothers, sisters, uh, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, and, 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 you know, and so on. So, but I think most people, if it came down to it, that's what they would do. Like, not really thinking, like, not thinking, like, if, I, if the whole world... The whole world would blow up if I don't jump on this bomb and I'm in the world so therefore I'm going to die with it anyway. But if I jump on this bomb, you know, I may have to go, which I'm going to go anyway, right? But at least the rest of the world can remain. And that's how, uh, that's how screwed up, um, I'm just being real, you know, I, I like to be very politically correct and, uh, and I try to be as... Um, you know, as, as, as light as I can be, you know, um, but you know, real is real also. So, uh, while being real, I, I want to be as light as I can be while also being real, you know, I don't want to, um, overdo it, you know, or be unnecessary either, you know? So with that said, guys, um, I want to talk about it in relationship to our relationships. Okay. And man and woman and things like that, guys. Um, we was put into situations where, you know, <laughs> you know, it's 2019. We can't even, in, in these bodies, guys, we can't fathom what our ancestors went through, uh, you know, 300, 
400 years ago and things of that nature. And so they were put into situations where they were broken, okay? And they were very strong people, but they were broken, okay? Things that you guys think you're going through now, things that we think we're going through now, is nothing in comparison to what our ancestors had to go through, okay? And so they were broken, okay? And just to live, just to survive, just to breathe, they taught their children to get along, you know, uh, what they say, uh, something, I, I forgot, I, it's a term where it's like, uh, dang, what is it, um, whatever to get along, you know, some terms, like, just do what you gotta do to get along, okay, and survive, and so with that said, guys, um, things got deeper and deeper and more complex and more sophisticated, and we became a whole lot more immoral to each other, a whole lot more disloyal to each other in order to gain for our individual selves and our individual survival, okay? And like I said in the beginning of this video, how a person who, if you don't jump on the bomb, the whole world's going to blow up and you're going to die anyway, or you jump on the bomb and the whole world doesn't die. You may lose your life, but the world gets to go on, okay? And so it's the same idea as far as what I was as, as far as what I'm talking about like guys uh you know, we'll sell each other out to live a certain type of way for a certain amount of time or to appease a certain emotion for a certain amount of time. So just like you not jumping on that bomb may have saved you two or three more seconds of life but you're gonna blow it with it anyway you know what i mean as opposed to you jumping on it it's the same thing when you you sell your people out and you sell yourself out ultimately when uh you know um when you when you don't have any loyalty when you don't have any integrity okay any morals any principles okay when it's just that's what animals do, guys. Animals survive, okay? Animals survive. As humans, we're supposed to be uh, above that to a point where you have certain principles, okay? Values and morals, okay? And you're not just a fleshly animal who's just going off of instinct, okay? And so, when it comes to relationships, you know, um, guys, guys, we have to try to do right by our women, Okay? Um, but we do have to be reestablished, okay, guys? Um, this society has emasculated us. Let's, let's keep it real. Like, this society has emasculated us. No one's afraid of a woman. If you're a man, you're not afraid of a woman. You're not going to oppress a woman, especially when you know you can op uh, oppress um, the woman's man and use her to your benefit, okay? And so what happens is, what happens is, what you're supposed to do is, you're not supposed to be in agreement with that, okay? You're supposed to say, I'm going to stick by who I'm going to stick by no matter what. I'm not going to allow you to use me as an instrument to suppress uh, someone else, okay? Especially if they are connected to me. And um, what happened is, you know, you get your, you, you got your true colors. It's no different than a friend, right? You have a friend. They're your friend. They seem to be your friend. They're cool with you, right? Until someone comes along and they say, you know what? Um, if you do this and that to your friend, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna get. Let's say you and your friend just had baloney. I'm just I'm just using this as an example. Like y'all, all y'all had was baloney and and sewer water. But you was eating and you was drinking, okay? And someone come along and say, I'll tell you what. If you uh, sell out your friend, right, I'm going to give you a little, your water's going to be a little cleaner, okay? And you're going to be able to eat something beyond, um, better than bologna, okay? And maybe different things, okay? Something better than bologna and it will be a, a variety, okay? More than just something better than bologna it'll be a couple different dishes okay and you could just be like okay well you know what with him or with or, or with or with this group of people all i'm eating is bologna and dirty water you know if you're gonna tell me uh, you know all i gotta do is 
it sailed them out to a certain degree and how, however you know what i mean how, however it is that i'm selling them out you know at least i'm going to be able to be comfortable more comfortable and i'm going to eat different food and i'm going to have a little bit more clean water so you have to so what loyalty is the whole basis of loyalty is no matter what like my children for example i could not have a dime in my pocket i could I could be eating grass, right? And you can't come to me and and convince me to 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 sell out my children. You understand? Like you can't get me to be like you can't come to me and say, "I tell you what, man. Y'all you eating grass, okay? Um you could eat caviar every day and steak. You know, just give me your child." You know what I mean? Like, you know, come on, man. Like at some point like wow, that's way better eating. And I could be eating like that for the rest of my life. If I have any type of morals and values and principles, okay, if I have a soul, would I look like selling my children for that? I'd rather suffer eating, so-called suffer, eating grass, right, and, and do it like that as opposed to, you know, having steak and carry, I mean, caviar every day and I, and I sold my children out. Okay, guys, so we have to establish more loyalty, okay? When it comes to our, um, our women, um, our women have been through a lot. You know, I'm not big on, I don't get into, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not bashing. I'm not going to be bashing white people and things like that. That's, that's not what I do, right? But at the same time, we know that slavery did occur in this country, okay? And we know that there was a whole lot of psychological effects from slavery, okay, that is evident and present in t in today's culture and our in our people okay and so therefore it does have to be addressed it can't be ignored like it just doesn't matter at all okay so um our women have to try to um at this point um a lot of women who's older and things like that guys you might be where you at um god bless you you know for those who can change you know, God, that's that's all the most high. That's all praise to the most high. For those who can't, it is what it is. You know, um, 